hey guys welcome to my channel i know it's been so long since i've been on this channel i'm thinking that i'm gonna come back to this channel and make it a couples channel i do think it will do really well because my boyfriend and i we have really good chemistry <sighs> i don't know we'll see that's what the plan is right now but i just want to get on here and talk to you guys because I'm like on TikTok and I'm just like seeing like a lot of women, specifically a lot of women of color, like black women, just opening, opening up their horizon. Does that make sense? They're just opening up their minds and they are not limiting themselves anymore. And I just, I'm here for that. I love that. I have always said, I'm not going to limit who I date because or limit my love based off of color i'm just not gonna do it color race ethnic background whatever it is i'm not limiting myself and i'm now youtube is my witness okay i have videos literally from years ago talking about this but i'm just not gonna limit myself and i'm seeing that just a lot of women are literally finally opening up and seeing that like i always say i go where i'm loved i go where i am treated well that's who i gravitate towards and if that's a black man then good if that's a white man then good you know what i mean but like i'm not limiting who i love i'm not just about to have like a preference of just all black people you know what i mean um so so i'm noticing that women are really opening up their eyes and they are going where they are appreciated where they are loved and where they can be fully them and live in their femininity to the fullest and don't have to be so masculine anymore because and also just like i know people were like kind of glorifying like um struggle love i'm not a big fan of struggle nothing okay i am not a big fan of struggle anything so i just i don't know it kind of baffles me that people were like glorifying stuff like that or like you know they're like i'm not gonna date this white man or this or that and i'm just like you never know that white man can be your husband that white man can be the love of your life not even white just indian or mexican whoever it might be they can be the love of your life and you're like saying no your soulmate literally can be a complete different color or race or ethnic background than you but you want to limit yourself and stay within this box and not get the love that you're actually looking for i've noticed with a lot of women they try to stay in that comfort zone but that comfort zone is what's bringing them down at the end of the day you have to really open up and and try new things you have to you have to explore you have to you know stop being afraid like i understand like with a lot of black women yes it's very understandable that their main concern is like racism and fetishizing fetishizing but I feel like it's the same thing when you're dating within your race. If if a guy in your race is like talking down on women, then you clearly know what type of guy this is. If this guy is making like racial jokes, then you clearly know what guy this is. Never make racial jokes and then try to cover it up. Well, oh, it was just a joke. That's not a joke. That's it's literally not a joke. You're literally saying something and trying to make it seem like a joke when it's really how you feel. So, um, yeah. So I, like I said, I understand why black women are concerned when dating someone outside of their race because you just never know but it's the same thing with dating inside your race you just never know you can date like this horrible guy that's within your race and then you go date somebody outside your race and like i said literally the love of your life or you're treated so much freaking better who freaking knows like i said just try it out if it doesn't work out for you it doesn't work out for you but that's not because of that person's skin color that's literally because of that person that's why it didn't work out and it's the same thing just date people just date around there's like so many girls i know or just like so many girls who's like complaining about their significant other or like them doing them wrong or doing this wrong and it's like well if you continue to go after the same guys what do you expect like honestly what do you really expect if you're going after the same type of freaking guys i'm not saying that guys are the same that's within the same race or you know what i mean i'm just saying like that same aura you know what i mean so like women are really out here breaking their own hearts if you want to be honest about it because there's a lot of women who like trying to who kind of 
glide over these red flags of men and then later on when they're still there they're just like then they want to bring it up bring knit that shit in the butt at the beginning of the relationship that's what i did when my boy i don't care how much my boyfriend thought i was complaining which i wasn't i was literally just voicing certain things to him and he grew into understanding that it's not me complaining or nitpicking I wanting to start an argument is literally me just voicing how I feel in that moment and for somebody to understand that they have to have a growth mentality if you guys know what I mean like don't get me wrong my relationship has not been perfect it's perfect for us but you know like it's not perfect and everyone knows that but one thing I do appreciate about my relationship is communication is a huge thing for us don't get me wrong my boyfriend complain and why and cry when i want to talk about certain things but i do the same thing you know what i mean so i think people just need to stop gliding over these huge red flags because if it's like something small then you can work on it but if you're with a partner and this partner does not have a growth mentality or a stable mindset to take in these things that you are saying to them the same thing goes for you sis because sometimes you are the problem too we have to take accountability sometimes you're the problem too baby girl but if you're not the problem you know you're not the problem i was just talking to one of my good friends and she was explaining to me like you know one of her love languages is uh words of affirmation and um physical touch that's very understandable because physical touch is in Honestly, I think word of affirmation is actually my boyfriend's. Uh, oh, also um, spending time together. Mine is spending time together, to be honest, because that's something that we can never get back. It's something what's happened to both of us, so we will have those memories. It's, I don't know what it's based off of, because I, I don't know. But yeah, mine is just like quality time, and that's one of his too, because I believe it's just really important to spend time with each other. I don't care if we're literally just sitting here in a quiet on our phones, reading books, whatever it might be. I just want to be spending time with you. Um, but so at the beginning of our relationship, he would like voice to me like, hey, or like around the middle, around maybe the second year we've been together. He was saying like, yeah, you don't like, you don't like touching or whatever. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't like to be touched. So I'm not a big touchy filly person, but he is. And he would voice that to me. So him voicing that to me, I had to start working on that. Like, oh yeah, I know this is what, I know this is what he likes. You know what I mean? He likes words of affirmation, all that stuff. So I always just, I talk to him encouragingly. You know what I mean? Like I, I just give him courage most of the time and try to give him some type of philosophy stuff. Like, I don't know where my philosophy and my wisdom came from. I'm thinking it just came from either experience it or knowing people close to me who experienced it. And then sometimes this shit just come out of nowhere. I'm not kidding you guys, it just comes out of nowhere. Sometimes I just know and it's so crazy to me. I love that, but like, where's it coming from? Because I need more of it. I want more of that. I want to be able to motivate more people or whatever. But yeah, so like, just worse, just, I talked to him, like, encouragingly for the most part. So, as I said, communication. So, my, my biggest advice to people who are in relationships right now, if you're going through something, communication is key. If you are communication, I mean, if you are, communi if you are communicating, understand how your delivery is, like, you've been with your spouse for some time now right so you know how to talk to your spouse you know certain triggers you know certain things you know what i mean so with that being said your delivery has to be adjusted to how this person will understand it for me when i do that with my boyfriend i put him in the shoes i would put him in the shoes because he don't understand if i'm just talking about a regular person but then if i say well if that were you then it's a whole nother story because then he has to think like oh me you know what i mean so um work on delivery work on communication communication is like a huge thing when it comes to relationships a lot of that's another reason why a lot of relationships fail because they're not communicating properly but if they are communicating in a relationship is still feeling that's just because the person isn't right for you that just means the relationship isn't right for you guys you guys just don't mesh and my big another thing is never force anything if you know in your gut that it's time to let this let that relationship go it's time to let it go baby it's time to let it go. You, There's only a certain amount of time you can fight. If it's been over a year to two years to three years that you've been fighting with this person, what are you doing? You you like hurting? 
you like being sad is my assumption. That's what I'm assuming. You just like being sad at the end of the day because any normal person will hate that feeling of being angry with their partners or feeling like they're alone when they have someone. No, like at a certain point you do have to give certain things up and a lot a thing I told my best friend when we were talking on the phone, I was like, like past relationships and stuff, I would break my heart. I would break my own heart because I'm not dealing with nobody's bullshit. If you're not gonna treat me as good as I treat myself, I don't need you, baby. I really don't. I don't want you around me and I don't need you. I just don't want you around me. Period point blank. If you're not treating me like I'm treating myself and I treat myself like a motherfucking queen, like a princess, and you're not doing that. No, it's not going to happen. So I will litter in a lot of things that I'm not going to say I haven't. I would break my own heart, but I was willing to. And it's because I'm so strict on myself when it comes to the relationships because of so many people I've seen in my life in these bad relationships. And they just, they, they know that they're bad, but for some reason, they just can't leave. And people say love is blind. Call it what you want, okay? I don't care how blind love is. If you ain't treating me right, I'm out of here. I don't care. I will literally break my own heart. I will literally, I don't care. I would rather, I'm so, and that's another thing. If you are not growing or you have no growth or you have no self-worth, no self-esteem, baby, you're about to get ran all over. Ran all over by this man or woman, whoever it might be. If you don't have those, those are like main things you need to have when you are out here dating people. Because, no, like what? You, like, I just, I don't know. I think it's because, like, I've learned this stuff at such a young age. Like, literally, like, in my teens to my 20s, I've always watched people and how they interact with these relationships and I always, like, how, like, a mental note, like, oh, yeah, I'm not going for that. Oh, yeah, that's not, mm -mm, not happening to me. Nope. Mm -mm. And all those things I said to myself is true. The, all of them. I don't care. All of them is true because as stubborn as I am, and how much sometimes I hate that, it allows me to be able to do things like that. Like just cut somebody off when they do something I don't like. Or break my own heart because I know at the end of the day it's going to be the best thing for me. So, ladies, just open up your minds. Even if you like, even if you don't want to date outside your race, date within your race and date different type of guys in your race. Like, because all people are not the same in the same race. It's just... That's just not a thing. So if you're going after the bad guy, go after the good guys. I'm a good guy. Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> just change it up, okay? You know what I mean? I'm not going to say don't go after bad guys and don't go after good guys because bad guys can be good guys and good guys can be bad guys. Go after... Change it up. That's all I got to say. <laughs> just change it up because you just never know, like, who your one is. That's my biggest advice, y'all. It's been nice coming back to this channel. I missed it. Just be on the lookout, you guys, because your girl is back. She's back. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I am back officially. If you guys have any suggestions on couple videos or just like videos I should talk about, please leave a comment down below. Bye.